Hey, it's Sin. I'm hanging out in our new Jayco Octane toy hauler, and I'm gonna show you some videos. So this is the garage, and as you can see, there are, um, I don't know what those things are called, but places to hook up your motorcycles. So this is the primary reason why we wanted a toy hauler because we can take our bikes wherever we want to go, we can camp, and we can stay in our toy hauler. So the two motorcycles will go right there. And of course, this back door opens, and it also converts to a patio when not in use. Now, the great thing about this garage is that there are seats that come down and convert to either a bed or to a living room. And then above the seats is, is actually a bed. So the bed also slides down. So all of these mechanisms slide up and down. And so theoretically you could sleep, you know, another four people, two on the seating lounging area and then two on that above bunk bed. And this is the master bedroom. So one of the things about a 26 foot is that you don't get a full bedroom. You actually only get this sliding curtain and the bed, as you can see, goes from wall to wall. And then you only get these little cabinet areas here for the bedroom. So it is tight but definitely, you know, perfect for our needs. Um, and we'll make some modifications by hanging some things on the wall here, places to put phone, glasses, all that stuff. Um, there is a TV mount there, so if we wanted to have an extra TV in the bedroom, we could. And then the bathroom in this Jayco Octane is really nice. You get practically a full-size wide door. So we'll figure out what kind of racks and such we can hang on this door for extra storage. And then you get an extra tall shower, which is really important for us tall people. So Scott can actually fit in this shower and not be banging on his head. And then you get, you know, a full vanity bathroom and mirror. And here's a quick video of our kitchen, which sits right in the middle of the RV. And what's really nice about Jayco is you get a convection oven microwave combination and a pretty nice refrigerator size wise for this size of an RV. So you get a refrigerator and a freezer. And the really great thing about this is it'll also run on propane. So while you're traveling to your destination, you can, it will still be cooling your food. Um, and then we have, you know, quite a bit of storage space in the pantries, which is really, really nice. And on the opposite side of the kitchen is a dining table with some shelving behind it. So this was bought, built by the last owner, so it's really great. So this table lifts up and you can actually eat at it. And then there's all these storage cubbies um, to store extra stuff, which we're going to need because storage is definitely going to be a challenge. And then you get you know extra cabinets here for some storage. So we're gonna have to get creative on stacking bins and such like that. And then over here, you get more storage by the front door, which is nice. I have a feeling that's going to just be for my clothes. And then, you know, you get our TV here, which you can watch directly from the convertible living room uh, garage area.